Hello everyone! In this video, we'll walk through how to set up your venue in the EPOS Now Order and Pay app after signing up. We'll go step by step, from logging in, to syncing your menu, to getting your QR code ready for customers. Let's get started. Once you've purchased the app, you'll receive a welcome email with your username and password. Use these to log into the app's dashboard. The first tab will be the Details page. Here, you'll need to complete the Merchant and Venue Details sections. Make sure to fill in all the required fields, like your name, contact info, venue address, and time zone. Once everything's filled out, scroll to the bottom and press Save. You won't be able to continue until this step is completed. Now that your details are saved, it's time to set up payments. Order and Pay uses Stripe to process transactions. You'll be guided through Stripe's secure KYC process. Just follow the on-screen prompts to complete the setup. Once your Stripe account is verified, you're ready to start taking payments. Next, let's bring the products over from your EPOS Now back office. In the left-hand menu, click EPOS Now, then press Sync Products. This will import your items from the back office. It may take a few moments to complete. Once finished, you're ready to build your menu. Next on the left, click Products, then select Menus from the drop-down. At the top right, press Create New Menu. Start by giving your menu a name, for example, Main Menu. Then, enable it. You can also add an internal name and a short description if you'd like. To add items, press the Select button. This will open a list of the products you synced from the back office. Tick items to include them, untick to exclude them, or use Select All to include everything at once. When you're happy with your selection, press Submit at the bottom. Then press Submit again on the main pop-up to save your changes. Your menu is now ready. If you want to make changes to individual product items, click Items. From here, you can update details like item descriptions, allergen information, and images. Some fields are locked because they sync directly with your EPOS Now back office, but others can be edited freely within the app. You can also choose whether each item is available for table service, takeaway, or both. And if a product is temporarily out of stock, you can mark it as unavailable. To manage how items are grouped, click Subcategories. Here, you can enable entire categories or rearrange your items using drag and drop. These changes are reflected instantly. Next, let's look at extras. These are your multiple choice products, pulled directly from your EPOS Now account. Each group includes the minimum and maximum selection rules you've already set in your back office. To customize how these extras appear to customers, just click on a group. Here, you can reorder items with drag and drop to make your menu easier for customers to navigate. Once you're happy with the layout, press Submit, and you're done. Now let's head to the Settings tab to configure how your venue operates. Start with Trading Times. Here, you can set your opening hours, including split shifts for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Next, click Venue Settings. This is where you can enable or disable your venue, set a service fee, and choose whether to allow customer reviews. If reviews are enabled, you can view them at any time using the Reviews section in the bottom left corner of the dashboard. Now select Order Settings. Here, you can define your prep time, enable pre-orders, and set up tipping options, with up to four different choices. You can control pop-up messages for delivery customers and set as soon as possible time slots for customer deliveries or collections. Now that we've completed the general order settings, we can move on to service options, starting with dine-in settings. Here, you can set a minimum order value, and if you're offering table service, you can define venue areas. For example, you might add inside seating or outdoors, so customers can tell you where they're sitting. This step is optional but it can streamline table service for your team. Scrolling back to the top, delivery settings. Enable delivery if you're offering it, and then set your delivery radius, estimated delivery time, and any fees or limits. You can also customize the delivery label customers see at checkout. Next up, collection settings. This works the same way. Set your order minimum, add a label, and adjust any collection limits. These options give you the flexibility to offer what works best for your venue, whether that's dine-in only, delivery, or both. To personalize your ordering page, go to Venue Images. 
Here, you can upload a banner image that appears at the top of your customer-facing site. Next, head to External Links. You can connect your social media accounts here. These will be shown to customers on your ordering page. Click QR code, then Venue URL to choose your unique web address. Just a heads up, this can only be set once, so make sure you're happy with it before you save. Finally, go to Download QR Code. This will generate a scannable code linked to your menu, perfect for printing on tables, posters, or flyers. Once everything's set, your venue is ready to go live. And that's it! Your order and pay account is now fully set up and ready for orders. Thanks for watching. And if you need more help, check out our other tutorials or reach out to the team.